now we are going to discuss uh, introduction to ss is see ss is is etl tool it is used to perform extraction transformation load uh, kind of operations that is like you know transferring data from data sources to data destinations with the transformations okay coming to next scenario in ssis whatever the task we are going to perform that is called as package i can say package is a collection of tasks in ssis see for every package will get extension as data dot dtsx so data transformation services transforming data okay and coming to next scenario here we need to discuss about uh, project also ssis project what is the meaning of project project is a collection of packages that means in the beginning of ssis we have to create a project in that project we are going to work with different packages okay so coming to next scenario after creating package generally we go for execution for execution we can use the debug button it will be there in ssis environment in the same way we can use function key f5 from the keyboard okay of course you can take right click on package name there you can see execute button by using that also you can execute packages coming to next case what are the components available in ssis see first component of the ssis is a solution explorer right see solution explorer contains information regarding your package what is your package name sorry what is your project name and what are the packages there in the project the tunnel will be there completely project related information ssis project related information is available in Exp solution explorer coming to next case control flow see control flow it contains a <coughs> set of tasks so they are kind of uh, administration tasks like containers hmm? sequence container for loop container for each loop container so these are all will be there in control flow right so coming to next case <coughs> we have data flow see data flow is pure etl because data flow contains source destination transformations what is etl extraction transformation load source transformation destination so i can say <coughs> whatever the operations we are going to perform in data flow they are purely related to etl no doubt now you can ask a question what is the difference between control flow and data flow see there is no difference because data flow is a part of control flow we already discussed data flow contains different tasks control flow is one one of them one task of the control uh, sorry data flow is one of them data flow is one task of the control flow clear so coming to next scenario <coughs> we have package explorer see Pla package explorer contains information regarding a particular package okay then we have <coughs> event uh, handlers see coming to event handlers these are used to maintain runtime errors in ssis packages runtime errors means what see for example you are creating a package you are making some mistakes in package creation that comes under compilation error we cannot handle that type of errors by using event handlers coming to next scenario you have created package everything is fine there is no mistake in the package creation you are going to execute it 
at the time of package execution you are facing some issues errors they are known as the runtime errors so if you want to handle runtime errors execution time errors then you can use the event handler tab okay after that uh, we can see execution results tab see it contains information regarding execution of the packages like uh, succeed information failure information warning information everything will be there in execution results tab only so for example you executed some package and it is throwing some error execution not completed right then how can i get failure information what is the reason for execution failure right we can get that information from this particular tab only right so coming to next scenario <coughs> what is the basic structure of a package ssis package so general scenarios package structure will be like this so we are going to work with a data source after that term we are going to work with term transformation then we are going to work with the data destination see this is basic structure see sometimes we are going to work with multiple data sources multiple transformations and multiple destinations also right okay but anyhow structure will be like this only sometimes what happens you know <coughs> without transformation also we are going to create package only source and the destination will be there so that depends upon requirement okay so now <coughs> next step uh, so now first in development environment we are going to create required packages after that once development is completed generally it goes to qa environment testing will be done after that it will be deployed to production environment okay so here development and deployment deployment is also really important to us okay so we can do deployment in different ways we'll discuss that so now the thing is first priority always goes to development once development is completed then it goes to production environment of course testing will be there right so now coming to production environment developer will not be there support people that is different team again but as a developer you should know deployment of the ssis packages also right so how to deploy i'll show practically okay na right <coughs>